Hello from Slide Nerd and hello from Weaves. What's up, folks? In this video, I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to set the values and complete our list view. So each time our list view wants to display a row, this get view method is called from your adapter. For example, to display the zeroth row, the list view calls get view passes zero over here in the int i and these two other parameters which I have previously discussed in my other videos. Again, if you wanna display the first row, get view is called one is passed over here and so on and so forth. So now the first thing we need to do is get the root view. If you guys remember, if you go to our single underscore row dot XML, the root view is the relative layout. And this is exactly what we need because we need this relative layout so that we can find this image view, this text view and this other text view, set values for all three of them and return the root back to the list view, right? So let's do that. The first thing I need to do is get the root view. So how will I get it? I cannot say find view by ID. The reason is, you see, get view is called for each row. And if you guys remember, every row is different, right? And that means we need a new view object for every row. And for that, I'm gonna use a layout inflator. Now, to initialize the layout inflator, I need a reference to the context object. If you guys remember, we have the context object already inside the constructor. So let's actually save this somewhere by saying context. And here I'm going to simply say context equals to C. I can go here down and I can say context dot get system service layout inflator service. At this point, you will get an error because get system service returns a plain Java object. And here on the left side, I have a layout inflator object. So I need to perform type casting, press alt enter cast and you're done with that. Now the reason why I use a layout inflator and not find view by ID is because of this. Find view by ID is gonna go here to our single row XML. Get this existing relative layout. Layout inflator on the other hand is gonna go here, read these properties and create a new object with the same properties. So that is the difference between find view by ID and layout inflator dot inflate. Need a new object every time? use the layout inflator. Need the same object every time, use find view by ID. Very simple, right? So I'm gonna say inflator dot inflate. The resource that I wanna inflate from XML to Java is this file called r dot layout dot single row. And I'm gonna supply the parent as view group and then the third parameter is false. Now, if you're new to this layout inflation process and you're watching this video on my playlist for the first time, please go back and check out the video on the layout inflator because there's a lot of history and geography behind this method inflator.inflate. Well, it's too big for a discussion here. So I've actually talked about it in a separate video called the layout inflator in my playlist. If you're not sure about it, please go and check back. So here, I'm gonna say view row equals to this. So here, what I have done is nothing great. I've taken this file r.layout.single row, which is right here. And as soon as I do that, it is gonna go here to the root view inside my single row.xml. Convert this into a new Java object and return that here inside our view row object. So now the row contains relative layout actually. So now I'm gonna use this row to find the other views, which is gonna be row.findViewById, r.id.textView. So now you see the bigger picture. I need to find those text views and image views using this row object. So here I'm going to say text view title. At this point, I'll get an error saying blah, 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 typecasting stuff. Again, press alt enter, perform the typecasting. Same way, I need to retrieve the description also. So at this point, if you're watching this, I have retrieved all the three uh, views over here. So now all I need to do is set their values. Now the question arises, hey, what the hell? How do we know which value to set? So here, if you guys remember this I, contains the value of the current row. That means for the first row, it's gonna be get view and there will be a zero passed over here. For the second row, there will be a one passed over here. So what I'm gonna do is given that a row number is passed, say I, I'm gonna get that object of single row for this. So I'm gonna say list dot get int index. So in other words, I'm gonna store this inside a single row object. So now in other words, when there's a zero passed over here, I'm gonna get the zeroth object of our single row. Then one is passed over here, I'm gonna say list.get1, that will give me a different single row object. So each time our single row object changes with this i over here. And now 
the only thing that needs to be done is this by saying title dot set text I'm gonna say temp dot title so if you see the appropriate values are contained inside temp remember and then the same way I can say description dot set text temp dot description right and the same way image dot set image resource it's gonna be the same thing which is gonna be temp dot image so at this point all the values have been set now remember one thing we had our relative layout we found those views over here we set their values so now we return the modified relative layout object over here and then we are done so now there's only one more thing that needs to be done go at the top here inside our main activity here I just need to set the adapter by saying list dot set adapter new revs adapter and pass this inside and that is it folks that is all we have to do so now let's run this by saying control s click run here at the top and there you go ladies and gentlemen BAM our list view is up which is having this image the appropriate titles the descriptions everywhere the only thing you will probably notice is that this is rough because this is not optimized if you want to optimize this I have shown that in a separate video called list view optimization in my playlist I've shown both methods how to optimize it by 150 percent using this convert view over here and how to optimize it by 175 percent using a design pattern in Android called the view holder design pattern if you haven't seen them please go ahead and check them out I'm not gonna do them here because this program is already too complex and I don't want to further complicate it so if you like what you saw please subscribe to my channel comment let me know your thoughts I would love to hear from you guys Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next vid. Have a nice day.